Manila, I'm from Colombia, and I'm an MBA student at the University of Michigan Ross Business School. I'm here today to answer a couple of questions that hopefully will be helpful for you guys in your application process. So the first question is, how did you prepare for MBA applications last year and what do you wish you had done and not done in hindsight? So first thing is that when I was preparing for my application, I realized that the most important factor of my application was the GMAT score. Because in terms of my profile, my background, and my work experience, I thought I was a very good candidate. And so I really wanted to focus on the GMAT score. So to prepare for the GMAT, I basically rely on two sources of information. The first one was the GMAT official guide, which is a collection of three books that all together have around 1700 official GMAT questions from past exams. And the other source of information was the GMAT club, which is an online community with lots of resources. And I will dig a little bit into that later. So the way I did this was that I knew how many days I had before the exam and I knew how many questions I, ha I had available to practice on. And so basically I, I divided those two and decided that each day I, I was going to do around 35 questions. And that was going to be my prep part for the GMAT. On Sundays I will do a test and I, I will try to do the tests that were um, provided by the GMAT because you read a lot into how it's best to prepare with like real GMAT questions. And and I also invested in buying four additional official GMAT exams um, to practice on. And I think that was what I, my most important part preparing for the, the MBA applications. Like um, it kept, I was very disciplined in doing questions every day so I didn't lose practice and once I had the GMAT score that I needed for the application I started focusing on the essays for the for the different universities that I was applying. In terms of the essays I I relied a lot on friends and co-workers to read through them, see what um, advices they had on it or feedback that I could apply to it. And I also think that it was very important for me to talk to Colombians, since I'm, I'm from Colombia, to talk from, to Colombians in the different universities that I wanted to apply to, to get a, a better sense of the program, both to see if that was a program that would work for me, and also to see if I could cert like present myself in a way that would be attracting for the university, given their, the things that they want and given how the community is. And in terms of the GMAT club, how, how it helped me, well, it helped me a lot in terms of preparing for general application, like tips, advices, and they have a lot of questions, uh, from like typical interview questions that you can prepare for, uh, for the time you do interviews for the, for the programs and general advice. And, and this may sound funny, but to me, it was also sort of like a support group because in this in this community, you see a lot of people from around the world that's going through the same process, and you sort of start uh, feeling that you're not alone, and that there's people going through the same thing, and like you can find some support. In hindsight, I think that I I wish I had talked to more students from the universities that I was applying to. I think, especially with Ross, uh, I wasn't aware of certain opportunities that were available for me and that I could have taken advantage of, like the Tower program. And because I didn't talk to people about this, I was really not aware of it. And I feel like I could have taken more advantage of these things if I had talked to more students. And things that I think I should have not done um, is maybe go through all the questions I had available through the um, GMAT official guide, because I think at some point you realize that you are very well prepared for certain questions and at that point you should start skipping those and just concentrate on those questions that you're having a real hard time with um, when prepping. Okay, so next question is why did I choose Ross? So um, I think there's many reasons why I chose Ross but I think it really comes down to the ones that I want to share with you. The first one is that everyone I talked to that was related to Ross, alumni, students, were very, 
very friendly with me, very welcoming. And when they mentioned how, how they like Ross or where they like Ross, they all said how it was such an inclusive and great community. And that to me was very important because I was going to be an international student. I was going to be a, in an environment where I was going to be a minority. So it was very important for me to know that I will be safe in there, that I will be able to speak my mind and that people would care for what I had to say. The second reason why I chose Ross was the MAP. So the MAP is a multidisciplinary action program. It's just a, a full trimester that we work with companies as in a consulting uh, project. And the reason why I really like MAP was because I felt that for me it was very important to uh, have an experience where I could learn by doing. And so I was looking for a program that offered that. And I think Ross and, and the MAP was the perfect fit for me in that sense. And another reason that was that my purpose after in the MBA is to uh, work in the tech industry. So I was looking for a school that was that recruited uh, MBAs um, in tech for full time. And Ross has like a very high recruitment rate in tech. So that was very important for me as well. And the last reason that I can think of right now, which may not be as important as the last three, is that Ann Arbor seemed the perfect town to spend two years studying an MBA because I really wanted to go to a small college town. Uh, I, I, I wanted to take a break from living in big cities, and I knew that being a small town would be better for me in the sense that I would be more concentrating in the things that I needed to do, like studies, uh, the recruitment for internship, and also this this may not come as something important, but when you're in a smaller town and there's not many distractions, I think it's the perfect uh, place to actually network with the people you are in this town with. So like, you really get to know your classmates, you really get to know the community at Ross, and that was that was also important for me. Now, the third question is, can you describe a day at Ross? So, um, a day at Ross may change depending on what trimester you are in. So, like, at the beginning, when you start the program, usually you'll have between two to three classes per day, Monday to Thursday, there's no classes on Friday. Um, so, during the fall, at the beginning, you will have lots of group assignments. So, whenever you have gaps in your schedule, you are likely to be spending those times with your teammates working on team assignments. Um, well, it's also during the fall, like late September, that companies start busy in Ross to do their corporate presentations. So, every day after 5 p.m., you're going to be uh, you're going to have the opportunity to attend as many corporate presentations as you want. So, expect very long and hectic days. But having said that, I think you will be learning a lot. You'll be spending a lot of time with other rosters at school, getting to know them, learning from them. And also a little bit beyond studies and school, I think uh, there's many social events going around. Uh, Ross has a lot of clubs, uh, affinity clubs, but also like hobbies clubs and like there's many uh, Activities to be done. Like I play soccer during the summer days back in September. Um, you can also do beer tasting with the brewery club, um, and also outside Ross. Well, for those who don't know, uh, Michigan is a big football college, and so like during the fall, you're gonna have the opportunity to every other Saturday go to the big house and see the Wolverines play, and it's very exciting. So like. I guess what I want to say is that I expect to be very busy and like having a lot of fun and actually expect to decide more what are the things that are important for you to attend and what are the things that you're going to have to pass on because you don't have enough time. Um, four questions. So how do you navigate the recruiting process? So um, I think for me it was very important to be disciplined and organized. And, and that's what really helped me navigate through the process because I at the beginning, I pretty much planned everything that I was going to do for the next four months prepping for my applications and how my life would look like and how the important deadlines and, and places that I needed to be 
uh, within those four, four months. And that helped me keep on track so much. Get the GMAT score on time, write the essays and send them out for advice on time um, and be pretty much ready to apply days ahead of the deadline. I would recommend you to apply days ahead of the deadline. Um, and that was what helped me a lot, like being disciplined and organized. But once I had I sent out my applications to navigate through the, the anxiety of waiting for results, waiting for to be invited for interviews, and, and the final result, I, I have to say that I rely a lot on the GMAT club. Just reading through the blog, seeing what other people uh, were doing, how, how everyone else was doing in the process, and basically try to find out any news coming from admissions. It, it really helped me a lot with anxiety during those days. Just reading through different entries at the GMAT club and seeing that other people were in the same place and that there were no news. It was just eased my mind a little bit. And the last question is, um, what advice would you give to someone in the same shoes you were last year? So I think in this question I have many advices that I would like to share. So first, and this is maybe cliche, but I would recommend you to prep real hard for the GMAT. I think it's key in the application. Even when even when the program says that they all look at application holistically, I think I think the GMAT score is the first barrier that you need to tackle. So like be prepared to spend real hard working hours on prepping for the GMAT. Other advice is like think truly to your stories, the stories that you want to tell in your essays, because I mean they need to be compelling. You have to think that the admissions people are reading through so many stories on, on their daily work and that you need to stand out between everyone else. So if you're struggling and trying to understand what could be a good story? Maybe ask your boss, your co-workers, people that have seen your work and, and ask them for ideas because maybe they know of like times that you were very good at something and that it's a, a good story to tell. And um, another question is try to network as much as you can with student, students from the universities that you want. Um, I think student are already in, they already went through the process and they know so much stuff that they can share with you. They can share helpful tips and many things that could be helpful for you in the process. So leverage them, especially because it shows real interest from your part and because I think all students are very happy to help you. I think we all went through the same thing. So like, I feel like you will always have a positive feedback from students when reaching out to them. And my last advice, uh, don't think small. Sometimes when you are deciding where to apply or not, uh, you may think, oh, I, I don't think I have the profile for this university or I don't think I'm good enough. I think that sometimes you can be surprised. And if uh, you prepare really well, you can end up being a very good candidate for the best universities. So like I personally started thinking small when I when I started the application process and I think I could have been more confident. So definitely if you have a preference for a really good university, go for it because uh, you could be surprised. And so that's, that's the end of this video and I hope this is very helpful for you guys and I hope you all successful in your application process and relax, have fun. I think in the end, any program you go to, you're you're gonna have a similar experience and you're gonna have a lot of fun and just enjoy it.